we've wanted to get into automation for the last few years. Once we realized that our automation that we've been looking at is not so much for production, but it's to be able to do short run volume and go from one job to the next really quick. A lot of people think of automation as high volume, high production. For us, it's more of a flexibility. If we have a prototype part that's in the lab and it's being measured, it could be in there for half a day and we don't want that machine to sit. So we go to another job that's set up on another pallet with different tooling. I've never been scared of automation. Um, I think that it is a great thing for our industry. It frees me up to do something else. I don't have to be standing in front of the machine. I can go over and learn programming. I could go learn a different machine. We always watch the first part, even if we've run the part before and it's a proven program, you always watch the first one to make sure that your tools are put in correctly and everything does what it's supposed to. But as far as the machine goes, it's gonna do the same thing every time. So you can push the button and walk away. Whether you're going from mill to a lathe, the controls operate exactly the same. So it makes it easier for a lathe guy to move over to a mill with minimal training to catch up on the exact workings of the mill. That's one of the benefits with Akumas is no matter which machine you go on over here, the controls are the same. But any guy that goes from this mill can go over to this one, run it, he can go over and run this one. It's getting more and more difficult to find skilled machinists. And then when you do find a really skilled machinist, they don't want to stand in front of a machine and, and just load material all day long. If we don't have this armoid here loading, loading these slugs of material, that's going to be you standing here loading these slugs of material. One skilled person can tend to three or four machines and it's more productive for, for the shop and it's also, in my opinion, it's a more rewarding career for the machinist as well. Time equals money, so the time is the most important part with us because we're always under tight timelines. Once you've established that robust process and know kind of how the part's going to run and everything, really there's, there's no reason not to. If we're able to do it, anybody should be able to do it.